Alright guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to set up and define a site in inside of Adobe Dreamweaver. <clears throat> so when you open up Dreamweaver, this is the dialog box you're going to get. You're going to get a create new here in the center. And we want to go down here to Dreamweaver site and click on that. And what it's going to do is going to pop up this site definition dialog box. You can go ahead and name the site. I'm just going to name it test for our purposes. Um, if you have a URL for this site, if you're actually using a real hosting, um, you can type that in there. But for this, we're just doing it on a local machine, so I'm not going to put anything there. I'm just going to go ahead and hit next. Um, you'll know if you're uh, using any of this um, server technology up here. Um, and if you are, you're probably not watching this tutorial. So I will go ahead and click no. Um, here we can either edit directly on the server, which um, basically allows you to automatically um, edit anything on your site once it's onto the web without you having to upload anything from your computer. But since we don't have an actual site set up on the web here, we're just showing you how to define a site. I'm just going to edit local copies on my machine. And uh, that's fine for the uh, place where it's going to store all your files. Take note of that. Or change it to wherever you want. Go ahead and click next. Um, this is going to ask you how do you want to connect to a server. For here we're using a local machine. We're just building a site on our computer. But if you click this drop down men menu you're going to get several different options. And for our actual sites we use the FTP option. And this is where you'll put in all your login information for whatever uh, host you're using to um, upload your site to. So if you want to upload your entire site once you've got it finished to your um, web host, this is how you do it. And I'll go through that in another video and I'll actually show you how to upload a full site from your computer onto a real web host. But for now we're just showing you how to define a site here so we'll go ahead and click local network and uh, what folders should you store the files in? Go ahead and click here and I'm just going to put it on the desktop for now and we'll click next and here is going to ask you um, this is really another thing that you really aren't gonna um, have to deal with here this is for businesses and stuff like that who want several people working on a website at the same time so we'll just go ahead and click no for that it's the default so here is all our um, settings that we've gone through so far um, and you can go ahead and uh, make sure that's all right or you can click back and change it uh, you can change it after you're done anyway but it gives you a readout of all the um, settings that you use so we'll go ahead and click done now it's dropped a new site over here in our local files area and what we can do after this is we can right click on our site go to new file and we'll type in index dot htm so that'll be our home page for our site and we'll double click on that and you can see now we have a web page here with a code view and a design view so now we can actually start working on our website whenever you define a home page you're gonna wanna name it index dot htm and make sure that i is in lower case because I actually ran into this issue building our last site. If you change this to uh, a capital I, um, the server isn't going to recognize it as a home page. It's going to recognize it as a different file. So when you upload your site, you'll have two index pages, one of, one of which will be the actual home page that the server has created for you or your web host has created for you. And then the other will be a capital I version that you created on your computer. So you'll end up with a cannot find when you go to your site. So be sure to make sure that uh, your I is lowercase. And now from here we can go ahead and create say new folders and we'll go ahead and click, uh, type in web pages here. And that's a, a folder that will store all of our separate pages from now on that our home page is going to link to. And we'll go through that and um, some more videos here but this is how you go about um, setting up a site inside Dreamweaver so you can edit it on your local machine and if you 
uh, turn out that you actually want your site here to be uploaded you can just go up here to site manage sites and then here's our test and we'll go ahead and click edit and what it's going to do is pop up back with that um, uh, site definition dialog box and you can go back in here and uh, connect to an FTP server and actually upload your site to the web so that's the basics of defining a site inside Dreamweaver here um, we'll go through templates uploading to actual websites and uh, managing your site in another video so uh, be sure to check back um, often for more videos and uh, thanks for watching